Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing fine and keeping yourself in a good health. I am super excited today to start a brand new video series on a deep layer package. This is the first video of the many more videos to come in the due course of time. In each video we are going to select a function in the deep layer package and we are going to discuss it threadbare and we are going to use the function on the real world data set. So that's the plan that I have. So uh, if you want to follow up on this video series then I recommend you to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the new videos posted on the deep live package video series okay so let's start with the first video now let's first understand what is the use of deep live package deep live package is used for data manipulation now what is data manipulation it involves data aggregation data transformation and data subsetting. So let's quickly try to understand what these three activities involve. So let's try to quickly understand what is a data aggregation, data transformation and data subsetting. Data aggregation. Data aggregation generates the data summary using statistical functions such as mean, median, standard deviation, etc. It can also be used to group the data with similar characteristics. So here is an example. I have these three variables which represents the waiting time at the counter. At counter 1, at counter 2 and at counter 3. Okay, and I want to find out what is the mean waiting time for all these three counters. So I will be using a statistical function called mean to find out the mean waiting time for each of these counters and also the median waiting time for these three counters as well. So as you can see I have aggregated the data into just only two majors the mean and the median okay so data aggregation is nothing but collapsing the data set into few summary statistics okay and grouping the data with similar characteristics this can be done with a group by function in the deep live package which we are going to see in the later video right now let's move ahead and let's try to understand what is a data transformation data transformation involves creating new variables out of existing variables in data set now let's pretend that i have these three variables in the original data frame i have a product abcd and i have a eoy cell from that product so product A has clocked a sale of 68 million in FY21-22 and 85 million dollars in FY22-23. But these are only the numbers. I am interested in finding out what is the sale growth. Whether the product A has shown a sale growth or is there any product in this product list which has actually degrown okay so i am introducing a new column called cell growth and i am creating a new variable cell growth from the existing variables of the data set so this cell growth is nothing but the division of the cells of these two years and uh, this gives me how much the sale has increased or decreased for a particular product. So I am transforming my original data set into a new data set 
by adding the new variable called cell growth so that is a data transformation and the third thing which is which involves in data manipulation is data subsetting data subsetting is selecting few variables of interest from the data frame so i have these four variables but i'm not interested in analyzing all these four variables right now for my, for my analysis i'm only interested in analyzing variable one two and three and those variables i'm selecting and doing my analysis so that is a data subsetting dplyr package is used to carry out all these three data manipulation activities effectively there are functions used to carry out each specific task and we are going to see those functions functionalities through this video series so let me now open the R session and let me now tell you how we can able to install the dplyr package so let's open the R session all right so i've opened the r session there are two ways that you can install the dplyr package you can use the install dot uh, packages command and use package name called dplyr that will install the package on your pc there is also the second way which i am going to explain to you is install dot packages tidyverse Okay, now what is this tidyverse? Tidyverse is the meta package which has many packages in it and those packages share the common design philosophy. That means those packages can work together seamlessly producing efficient data analysis work okay so just remember the tidyverse is the group of packages that work seamlessly together producing the efficient data analysis work there are a lot many other things to explain in the tidyverse package so that deserves a separate video altogether but at this moment of time just remember that tidyverse is the group of the packages that share the common design philosophy and dplyr is a part of tidyverse package so if you install tidyverse then automatically r will install all the packages that are contained within the tidyverse ecosystem okay so we are going to install the tidyverse package and then we are going to load the package with the library function okay now in this case the tidyverse package is already installed on my pc so i'm not going to execute this but as you are may as you may aware that each new r session that you start all the packages needs to be loaded in that session so i'm going to load the tidyverse package in the session so let me load the package now once you install the tidyverse packages it's always good practice to check the tidyverse packages okay so i'm going to show you which of those uh, packages are the part of tidyverse system so let me run this and uh, these many packages the part of our part of the tidyverse system and as you can see this is a dplyr package this is what we are going to talk about in this video series and since you have installed the tidyverse package this dplyr package has automatically got installed along with it okay so next thing that i'm going to show you is to uh, is to how to check the version of the tidyverse packages because tidyverse packages are constantly getting evolved they're getting developed with the new features so it's always a good idea to check which version the tidyverse package that you are using in your current r session okay so tidyverse underscore update so if you run this then you can see that some of the packages that are installed on my pc are a bit outdated so as you can see the r has given me the warning 
the following packages are out of date db plier heaven json light read xn and xml2 these two numbers 2.3.2 is the version that sits on my pc right now and that version needs to be upgraded to 2.3.3 which is right now the current version of that package okay fine so we could able to in i hope you could able to install the package install the tidyverse package and uh, you are good to go so from the next video we are going to pick up one function and we are going to see how we can use that function on the actual data set right so if you have not subscribed to my channel i highly recommend you to do so and also hit that bell icon so that you will get immediately notified once i post the new video on youtube so time to say goodbye take care and i will see you soon